Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Today's video is a bit of a follow-up on this guitar here. You may have mentioned, you may remember that I mentioned when I uh, originally reviewed this guitar, the Harley Benton HB35, that I would probably be swapping out the pickups and definitely swapping the tuners. Now, um, in the comment section below that video, someone said, well, why don't you just swap the magnets in the pickups? Because it is a bit of a faff around to uh, change pickups on this style of guitar. It's much easier to swap the magnets. So that's what I did. Um, it's actually quite an easy thing to do, and it does have a big uh, impact on the sound of your pickups. And it's, as I say, it's cheaper than doing a pickup swap on this style of guitar here. It's easier than doing a pickup swap. Uh, so it just seemed like a good idea all round. Um, so what I've done is I've taken the ceramic magnets that were in this these pickups. Here they are right here. Uh, ceramic magnets. And I've replaced them with a set of Alnico 2 magnets, which I got, as I always do, tend to get these things from uh, Axis R Us. You can see here's the uh, website here, and there's a, a link in the description box below to where you can uh, get these magnets or any other bits and pieces you might need for guitar modding and upgrading. Um, now, uh, it's a fairly simple process to put these uh, to put new magnets into a set of humbucking pickups. I only encountered one minor problem, which we'll talk about later. Uh, but first of all, here are the steps that you go through to uh, swap out the pickups, swap out the magnets rather in uh, a humbucking pickup. Okay, the first thing you need to do after you've taken the strings off the guitar and lifted the pickup out is if your pickup has a cover on it, then you need to desolder these joints here which are holding the cover on and then you should take the cover off. Next, you go back underneath the pickup and loosen these four screws here. These are what hold the bobbin to the base plate and the magnet is sandwiched in between the bobbin and the base plate. So we're basically just uh, loosening that uh, area there where the magnet is and you can then do this, which is to push the old magnet out from the other side of the bobbin that you can see here. Basically, there's one side of the bobbin where the wires come off and go to the pickup lead that ends up going to the pickup selector and so on. Push the magnet out from that side so it comes out the side you can see here. Just use something like um, a lollipop stick. That would be ideal. That's what I used. And another tip is that while you've got the old magnet poking out like this, what you can do is get your new magnet and see which end of that new magnet is attracted to the pokey out end of the old magnet. Uh, this tells you that when you remove the magnet fully and place the new magnet in through the opening that the old one came out of, basically you want the end which is attracted to the old magnet that's poking out to go in first that way you know you've got your uh, new magnet in the right way around then all you got to do is basically reverse all of the steps that we've done to begin with you tighten up those four screws again and then uh, put the cover back on, resolder it, and your magnet swap is complete. So, there you go. Quite easily done, it has to be said. Uh, as I said, I encountered one small problem. So, what was that? Well, uh, that point in the process where you have to unsolder the um, pickup cover, my little weedy 25-watt soldering iron wasn't up to the job at all. It, just, it was making the solder... A little bit uh, soft but it wasn't you know melting it so in the end what I had to do was um, well what I should have done was been sensible about it and thought okay you know let's put the guitar back together and um, you know wait until I've got a, a hotter soldering iron but the guitar was dis well the, the pickup was disassembled and it was out of the guitar and I was raring to go so 
I just used a small jeweler's file to uh, break that solder seal and get the, the cover off the pickup, which means that obviously I wasn't able to re-solder the uh, pickup cover back on when I finished the job. But fear not, I have a much more powerful soldering iron uh, on its way to me right now. And uh, when I do the next upgrade on the guitar, which is to uh, change the tuners, um, I'll just whip the pickups out and re-solder those covers. So what difference do these Alnico 2 magnets make to the sound of the guitar then? Well, this is where technology conspired against me once again. What I did was uh, recorded a full before and after uh, you know, sort of sequence showing me playing the same licks and riffs with uh, both sets of magnets to hear how they differed. Uh, but the USB stick that uh, I keep all of those audio files and stuff on uh, somehow got corrupted and I can't access that audio for whatever reason. But what I do have is the original uh, DAW project from when I did the original version of the original review of this guitar. Uh, so I've isolated the uh, rhythm guitar part that I did uh, using the old pickup magnets uh, on that and I've pretty much recorded the same thing back to back with the uh, new uh, pickup magnets and you can hear exactly how the two uh, sets of magnets compare. There are no effects, there's nothing else on here, it's just the raw sound of the guitar. Uh, here's the comparison. <laughs> So there you go, that is um, the difference that uh, those Alnico 2 magnets make to the um, ceramic magnets. The ceramic magnets made a good sound, uh, let's make no bones about that, uh, but it's just I want a better sound, <laughs> you know, it's I, I, it's I knew there was a better sound to be had uh, for a relatively small outlay, so I, I thought you know, well, why not? It it just seems like spoiling the ship for a heap of the tar to, um, to not do it. Uh, what about the driven tones then? Well, um, basically here's that the, the uh, bridge pickup uh, turned way down to about uh, two or three on the volume control. And if I bring the volume all the way up to uh, full throttle, we get something that's more like uh, this. Which gives a proper grown-up sound, I think. So there you go. That is uh, what kind of difference it makes when you swap out uh, an Alne uh, a, cera a ceramic magnet, I beg your pardon, for an Alnico 2 magnet in your humbucking pickup. And you've seen, hopefully, that it's quite easy to do, and it's going to cost you, well, it cost me about 14 quid for the two magnets, including postage. That's peanuts compared to... Uh, the, the difference in sound that you would get by buying an equivalent new set of pickups, especially if you went for something with a well-known brand name on them. Um, so there you go. Anyway, hope you found this informative, useful, inspiring, all the rest of it. And if you have, if you've enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and give the video a like while you're at it. 
uh, and I will just close by saying that if you would like some tailored one-to-one -one guitar tuition then give me a shout via the details at the end of this video. If you live on Teesside in the northeast of England you can come along for a face-to-face -face lesson in this very room and wherever else you are in the world you can have a lesson via Skype and whichever way you do it your first lesson is free so you've got nothing to lose and potentially everything to gain. And with that I'll bid you all a good day, say thank you for watching and I'll look forward to seeing you all again next time around. Bye for now folks.